14th of December, day number 14 of our 24 days of random awesomeness. Let's get right into today's bag, which I showed yesterday is probably the smallest item I showed so far on this series. Let's dig right into it. Small bag today, or big bag and small box in there. Now, how can we open this? Um, here we go. 14 days of random awesomeness. What do we have today? We have a little box here. And uh, that's basically it for this bag. Um, yeah, don't, have, don't, don't look at this logo. <laughs> this does not have anything to do with it. Um, it's because usually I use project trays. I have like uh, plastic trays from Ikea. I use um, where I put, uh, you know, all my stuff on there for each project. So in this case, I had to put it in some sort of box to transport it. Now let's open this up and what is it? What do we have today? And I think I will start by zooming in so we have a better look because all this stuff is quite tiny and I have to adjust a little bit on the exposure like this. Yes, what do we have now? We have uh, some sort of liquid. We have two little syringes or whatever they are called. We have a little USB charging device and we have the main unit, which is still in a some sort of a, well, a second prototype state. We'll put this box away. Now, what is it? Well, I made, well, if you have been uh, subscribed to my channel for longer, um, in the very beginning, I once posted a video of a little tiny device and it is quite, well, the thing that I received the most emails about. Uh, a lot of requests, um, people asking me if they can buy this thing from me. And uh, I always told them, well, no, because it's just a little prototype thing, a thing I built it for fun. Um, but after so many emails, at one point I even received one from Las Vegas. Uh, I thought, well, maybe I should give it a shot and um, try to redesign this little device. Now, what is it? Uh, you see already it is kind of uh, spilling some liquid. This is the machine. What is it? Well, this is the smallest, tiniest little soap bubble machine in the world, probably. This is a machine. Um, yeah, I redesigned it, as I said. Uh, I 3D printed a specific housing for this thing and uh, attached a, uh, a little ring that we make on a lathe here. And uh, you're supposed to put this on like this, so you don't really see that you have something in hand. And uh, there is basically a very tiny little micro switch that you can operate with your finger. And uh, yeah, and it starts producing soap bubbles. And how does this work? Well, let's have a closer look. We have a little battery here um, that powers um, the whole thing. Uh, I will get into detail about this later because there is uh, something special. Um, we have uh, the main unit and here is the thing though, um, these units, I got them from China from a manufacturer there and unfortunately now where I redesigned this thing and I tried to source these machines, it came out that they are not producing them anymore. So they are getting rarer and rarer. I managed to um, hunt down uh, six of these machines. So for now I can produce six uh, units. Um, I will later on sell them inside of a nice pally case, you know, with uh, some spare parts, uh, some liquid, because um, you need some special liquid, the regular soap bubble liquid will not work with this machine. And um, the cool thing or interesting thing about this thing is the whole machine is operated by one single little motor and that motor mechanically drives three different uh, uh, things. Uh, starting with um, this little blades up here, this is a little fan, so it creates an airflow that goes through the machine and comes out to this nozzle here. Then um, it's, it runs a little pump that sits underneath here. You see this little hose that goes in this reservoir. Uh, it pumps the liquid through the machine to the nozzle and in the same time it operates this little arm here that will move. So it spreads the um, soap liquid over the 
uh, over the nozzle. Now, um, basically, this hose um, that comes out of the pump is just attached here uh, underneath, and uh, well, it spills, of course, some of this liquid over time, so this is not an effect you use like for um, a long time this is something you use for a, a short effect so um, you come on stage and you say hello and you blow some bubbles out of your hand and then uh, magically leave um, let this device uh, somewhere uh, disappear in your pocket now how does this work or how does this look well let's have a look and let's try this out so we will first open the reservoir and we have to fill in some of this liquid it is a special um, ratio um, of uh, glycerin in there, so that makes this thing work. Then you fill this up, fill the reservoir like this, the rest I will put back. Then you close this thing up and uh, basically then you are already ready to go. Let me close this up and then we will zoom out a little bit so we have an overview what we are doing. Let's see, like this and I have to bring down the exposure again because now we are a little bit too bright. This should be fine. All right, so uh, you put this on your ring finger. Is this your ring finger or is this your ring finger? I always mess up things like that. So you put this in your hand and I'm showing you this now um, the other way around like this. and. Uh, a tiny little movement with this finger will be enough to uh, launch this machine. So, and you see it starts blowing bubbles. And quite a few bubbles. Um, looks pretty cool. Especially like this when you would like, you know, you shoot bubbles out of your hand. Of course this thing makes a little noise. Well, it is a motor. So, um, probably when you use this, you would use this with some music on stage when uh, the show starts or something like that. And also you see it spills some of this liquid because this hose is just attached to the front and it spills out this soapy liquid. And you can always wipe your hands somewhere on your, on your pants or wherever. Um, nobody will notice that. Now, uh, one thing about this battery is that uh, this motor uh, is driven by a 3.7 volt battery. And um, in the beginning, and let's zoom down again, in the beginning the idea was uh, to uh, mount a little uh, button cell battery holder here on the other side, where this battery now is, because this is specially designed and rounded in a way that the battery holder would fit exactly onto this spot. But it came out that a 3 volt uh, button cell is not powerful enough to get enough airflow to create bubbles, so I had to really adapt um, a, a 3.7 volt battery to this system. Unfortunately, now it is uh, it is another battery that has to be charged and another thing that has to be charged regularly to not destroy the battery over years. Uh, but um, for that, it works pretty well because it gives the exact right amount of voltage and uh, well, uh, wind or um, airflow needed to create air bu uh, soap bubbles. Now, you can take out the whole machine outside of this carriage uh, thing, the mounting uh, uh, plate or mounting device, and you can clean it. You can uh, clean this thing uh, with water as well. This is an aluminum ring. Um, I also do make these rings in different dia 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 diameters, <laughs> one, two, three. And um, so, for example, I have very thick uh, sausage fingers. So for women, um, of course, I can make smaller rings. And uh, yes, um, now this unit pr price-wise, I don't uh, know right now what uh, the price would be, but I consider it to be a professional kind of thing. It's not um, something um, that I designed uh, for like, you know, a birthday party or something. This is more something for like professional uh, magicians that really need these machines to operate. And uh, I even thought about it um, to like um, put multiple spare parts of everything inside of a little pally case when you order it. Um, unfortunately, as I said, these machines are very hard to find. Um, if you maybe know somebody or uh, know a source where I can get these machines, uh, let me know so I can order them from them. Uh, I had a couple of people uh, asking me on um, or added me on Instagram to ask me if I would sell it. I told them, well, I will keep you updated as soon as these things are ready to be sold. Um, but now you had a little look how these machines work and how they are actually um, produced. 
Uh, all after all, well, the whole thing, the whole unit is mostly plastic. Unfortunately, it's not metal. Uh, else also, I mean, it would be a whole different price um, range. Uh, in this case, this is something, I think when you, when you keep it clean and you um, operate it um, carefully, this will last you a long time. Um, but um, there is no guarantee it, it will not break. I mean, um, this is something when this falls down and you step on it, it probably breaks. Um, so um, just keep this in mind. Now let's have a short look of to tomorrow's video. And I hope I'm zoomed out enough because um, this is again a bigger bag. And you see it's, well, this is probably like two and a half, three pounds heavy, um, quite big. Sounds of bubble wrap. And uh, we'll see tomorrow what this is. Now, I hope you enjoyed and uh, I see you tomorrow. Focus, focus, focus. Uh, have a nice evening and until then, see ya.